Probably not the photo you were expecting to see at the end of a sequence like that. And to be honest, me neither. But this photo right here speaks to me the most of everything I saw and captured while spending time in Kenya. This is what a drought looks like. It's pretty horrible, right? dead crops, nothing grows, there's no water to nourish these crops so you have no food, nothing to drink, nothing to eat. These people are having to leave their farms to find food elsewhere, find safety elsewhere. And this is just the result of a few years. We visited a hospital while we were there to see some of the effects that this had on the local community and met a little boy named Wilfred and his mother, Maximilla. Now, Wilfred's three years old and he can't walk. His legs aren't strong enough to actually support him because he's malnourished. I saw dry riverbeds that used to be filled with water. I also saw farming techniques that were helping. I saw people eating berries for two meals a day, but I also saw families who were thriving amidst the crisis. I saw more kids who were struggling and malnourished and heard more about the crisis throughout East Africa. I also saw perseverance, and that same perseverance that these people have to help one another to ensure little kids like Wilfred get to stand for the first time. Or better yet, walk for the first time. What was it about the photo of the bull that struck me? The stitching in the bull came to represent a lot of things for me, both the desperation that comes with poverty and the ingenuity that humans have to keep persisting, the misconception that happiness somehow means owning nice things. It also struck me as a metaphor for the world as a whole, a world broken by droughts, floods, natural and unnatural disasters, but a world that can be held together by hope and generosity, with the work of organizations like World Vision, and with the small, everyday kindnesses we show to each other. <laughs>